Hello everyone! Lately there are a lot of questions regarding the power supply that I use for my DIY synthesizer projects. It's a simple dual power supply which is based on the 78 and 79 voltage regulator series. In addition there's an AC voltage source like a wall watt adapter needed. Let's take a closer look. So let's take a look at the schematics. So here on the left the, here is the AC input. So you need an additional wall watt adapter or some other transformer which outputs 12 volts AC. So I use usually adapters like these. So you can see it outputs AC voltage. This is a 1 amp wall watt adapter but there are also bigger ones like this 5 amp adapter. This is the one I uh, use for my polysynths because it really needs a lot of power. Um, so the input goes here. It doesn't matter which way around, um, so it's AC in the end. Um, what happens then? Um, you have two diodes here, and um, so it basically looks like this. So you have the IC voltage here, so it looks like this. And uh, what the diode does, um, the one here chops the top part off, so you have on the upper side of the circuit, you have only the tops, and here you have the bottoms. Um, but this is of course nothing we can really use um, as a power supply. So what we're using here, we have like we have big capacitors, which smoothens out basically um, the voltages here. Um, and now we have the voltage regulators. So here's the 7812. Um, so the 78 series uh, is for positive voltage regulation, and the 79. Uh, is for negative voltage regulation. So I use the 7812 here for plus 12 volts and the 7912 for minus 12 volts. Um, what you can see around here is basically to condition um, the voltage regulators and the diodes you see here is only um, when you power the supply off um, there is uh, charge flowing backwards, or it can happen that there's charge flowing backwards uh, from from the from the load you have, uh, for example, for your modules, and um, this could damage uh, the voltage regulators. So this is uh, basically um, preventing this and this grounding this. Um, there's uh, here some um, load resistors. Um, so to make the voltage regulators start up. Um, they need uh, some load. So um, if you have no module connected, for example, if you want to like test it out, then you might need uh, those load resistors here. And up here, um, from we derive also um, five volts plus five volts uh, from the from the plus twelve volts here, um, and, and to have the uh, have the sixteen pin. So this here is the sixteen pin. Uh, Eurorack, basically Eurorack standard for power. Um, so this is how it basically works. Um, so you might say, okay, this is all fine and dandy, but I only have 12 volts here. And But this is not really true, because what you have here is not 12 volts, but the peak uh, is more than that. And in fact, this is 12 volts times square root of 2. And this is something around 17 volts we got here. And this gives enough headroom to drive these uh, 12 volt regulators. Um, so this should work as expected. Um, in the end, this design can be used um, also for, for plus 15 volts and minus 15 volts uh, supplies and also for plus 9 volt and minus 9 volt supplies. Um, make sure you have uh, use a different uh, transformer or wall water adapter with those. 
So this is how the voltage regulators look like. Uh, this is the one for plus 12 volt and this is the one for for minus 12 volts. Um, usually they can drive uh, one amp. Um, if you want to drive more with this, uh, make sure to add some um, heat sinks to it. Um, like here, so this would be an assembled unit. Um, so at heat sinks, uh, they, so they get really warm if you drive a lot of current from it. Um, but yeah, as I said, um, this, so this all depends very much on the combination of uh, voltage regulators you use and, and the wall watt supply in the end. So one more thing to note, um, don't attach the voltage regulators all to one heatsink. Um, so this gives you a, a short circuit um, because the 78 and the 79 series, they have different uh, pins uh, attached to, to the heatsink here and this would cause um, a short circuit. So don't do that. Use, use different heatsinks. So after all, this is a very basic design. This is very simple, but I find it quite effective. This is the cheapest option I know for building a Eurac power supply or uh, in general a dual power supply um, for, for audio applications. Um, so I find this quite effective. Um, so this works quite well for me. Um, yeah, if you want to try this out by yourself, um, so be, be cautious. Um, in the end, you have uh, big capacitors and um, uh, mind the polarity of everything and um, because these things can blow up if you put them in the wrong way around. So, and um, before you connect it to your precious UREC modules, make sure uh, to measure if it outputs the correct voltages. So there is more information on my website um, about this design um, and you can find these PCBs in my store um, if you want to build this simple power supply. As I said, um, be a bit cautious um, and you should know what you're doing before trying this out. Alright, that's all for today. If you're into building your own synthesizer modules, make sure to check out my website. There's all sorts of information and you can buy the PCBs and build your own modules. Alright, thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.